there, it's Laura from Yoga Kali and today I'm reviewing a quirk yoga mat from Vida India. which says that the quality of your breath defines the quality of your life. How you breathe is essential, but so is what you breathe. Unfortunately, so many yoga accessories, including yoga mats, are made of plastic toxic cocktails, which are bad for your health and are bad for the environment. Enter Vida India, a small Spanish ethical brand, the founders of which believe that things can be done differently. They believe that we can take care of ourselves while taking care of the environment. The mat I'm reviewing today is made of sustainably sourced cork from Portugal and natural rubber from Vietnam. I probably mentioned it many times already, but cork is my favorite material for all things yoga. First, because Quark is harvested by hand without harming the tree. The bark regenerates itself and most importantly because a harvested cork tree can absorb five times more CO2 than a tree which wasn't cultivated. Quark also grows in Europe so if a yoga mat like this one was made locally in Europe it means that raw materials don't have to travel far away and less transportation mean less emission and better for the environment. This specific mat is called High Times and I'll be honest the moment I opened the package I was stunned. When I first saw these awesome geometric patterns on the computer screen, I thought they were amazing. That's why that's actually what drew me in to this yoga mat. But these patterns look even better in real life, trust me. The mat arrived in a plastic free carton box sealed with a small paper. There was a little bit of funky smell from the natural rubber bottom, which might be a deal breaker for some people, wasn't for me. But I can say that after more than a month of usage, I can barely smell it. So I'm completely in love with the design of this yoga mat and I love how this natural aesthetics of core combines with the hand drawn elements. By the way, all the patterns and drawings are made using water-based inks so there is a minimum impact on the environment but not only the patterns are stunning they also double as alignment lines and can guide you in your practice i've tested high times yoga mat on various surfaces including grass concrete tile sand and i must say that no matter the surface Balancing on high times mat is an amazing experience. The stability is simply unmatched. The thickness of this mat is 2.3 millimeters, so it doesn't offer as much cushion as an average 4 or 5 millimeter yoga mat would. I've been doing yoga on a 2 millimeter yoga mat for years uh, until one day my joints just told me to stop. I don't know if this is the natural springiness of core or natural rubber or maybe the mixture of these two, but high times mat felt pretty good for my knees and joints. I haven't felt much discomfort while I was practicing on a hard surface. But just in case, I recommend having a blanket on the side if you're practicing long holds on a harder surface. You can also double the mat with no problem like this. But probably I wouldn't do this too often because I'm not sure how cork is gonna react. Generally, most cork yoga mats will naturally crack a little bit on the surface. But this specific mat is made using cork fabric, which is uh, used for even making clothes and uh, different kind of accessories like umbrella, wallets, shoes, bags, everything. It feels like you can probably double the mat just be careful not to overdo it. By the way, this uh, specific type of core is sometimes called cork leather because it truly feels like leather. It creates a nice smooth leather-like surface that you can't just stop touching. There's probably one drawback to the smooth surface and it's dry grip. I never expect a solid traction from a mat out of the package and especially when it's a quirk yoga mat because it's supposed to be wet to grip. When I got high times and I stepped on it for the first time, I must say that the dry grip wasn't stellar. My hands were slipping, my feet were slipping and uh, downward dog turned out to be a very, very challenging pose. I would say it took me around two weeks to finally break this yoga mat in and, and dry grip 
improved significantly. By the way, it was this initial bad dry grip that helped me discover an amazing thing. When I need a little bit more traction for my yoga poses, I would just flip the mat with the cork side down and practice or natural rubber. Genius! Wet grip though is a completely different story. When cork gets wet, it releases the substance called subrin and the mat gets grippier. With a little bit of water sprayed on the surface, High Times does what it promises. It grips while allowing you to transition between the poses freely. High Times mat rolls up easily and it's pretty compact, as you can see. It's only 60 by 9 centimeters well rolled and considering its light weight of 1.5 kilos, it's also pretty easy to tote to and from the studio or to the park or whatever you take your yoga. The mat doesn't really stay rolled by itself, but there is an amazing extra um, accessory. There are two small straps extending from the mat, so when you roll the mat, you just wrap the straps around it and tie a knot and voila, you got yourself a um, free yoga strap. When it comes to cleaning, I'll be honest, I haven't done much maintenance with the High Times yoga mat because it doesn't need any. I can't stop singing oats to Quark because Quark is so awesome that you don't have to clean it at all. It's uh, naturally antimicrobial, uh, kills bacteria. It's perfect for people who have no time. You can wipe the surface with a wet cloth from time to time, add a little bit of lemon, add a little bit of vinegar into the water solution and make sure to dry your mat before rolling it up. Fun fact, did you know that NASA used Quark for its space shuttle? That's right, because Quark is super sturdy and resistant to friction and wear and tear. So as I said, I've been uh, using High Times Yoga Mat for over a month. I took it outside, practiced on rocky and abrasive surfaces. I kept it inside and rolled at all times so that people would walk over it to see how it's gonna take it. And I'm happy to say that this yoga mat got an A plus on my durability test. Everything looks as good as new. There is no flaking, no cracking. There are no layer separation whatsoever. And most importantly, the print didn't fade at all. And it's as vibrant as it was the first day I got the yoga mat. It seems like High Times is really reliable, solid ground for your practice for years to come. Vida in the yoga mat has really raised my bar for how yoga props have to look and have to perform. And here are three things I liked most about this yoga mat. First one is ver versatility. Saying that High Times is a yoga mat is a huge understatement. This is a solid surface for any kind of fitness practice you're doing, whether you're weightlifting or doing cardio or uh, high intensity interval training or just chilling outside. Second one is unique design. The patterns the bread offers are simply amazing and uh, you can get a geometrical pattern, you can get a nature-inspired patterns, mudras and all sort of things. The third one is eco-friendliness. High Times is made of natural and biodegradable materials that minimize our impact on the planet. And the brand itself is trying its best by completely refusing to use plastic in their production process and in their packaging. I can't really say anything bad about this yoga mat, except for probably one thing, and it's dry traction. The mat was quite slippery when new, and um, I didn't expect that, because quarry yoga mats generally don't need any breaking in, and it was a bit of a surprise for me. It took me around two weeks of regular daily yoga practice, and not only yoga practice, to break it in, and as I said, I kept the mat completely unrolled at all times, so maybe this also helped. If you want to learn more about the brand and read more about this specific yoga mat, I will link to the company websites in the description below. I also have a full-length review dedicated to High Times Yoga Mat with pictures and with more details. Go check it out. If you enjoyed watching this video, like and subscribe and comment below about your experience with Cork Yoga Mats. Thank you for watching!